hey guys good afternoon morning evening whichever way wherever you're watching me for thank you guys for watching my video for subscribing to my channel yeah happy sunday to everyone you're going to church today i just came back for church it was awesome being in the presence of the lord thank you thank you guys i really appreciate you guys for watching for subscribing for the like for the comment for all thank you thank you thank you you guys are amazing lovely thank you guys thank you guys yeah i told you guys before that it's going to be back to back today's video we are going to be talking about parents that lead their children to doom yes you heard me right so many parents are leading their children to doom even when they see their, their children are going wrong they just want to protect their own and forget that the other side the other person is also born from another parent or given birth by another person so you have to be truthful and be balanced don't judge one-sided don't do things to favor your own child when you know your child is wrong you are leading that child to do you are giving that child wrong training you're giving the child wrong inflation you are making the child to have wrong reflection inflation whatever it is so try as much as possible to balance the equation where your child is wrong. Always tell your child you are wrong, my dear, so that the child can the child can be corrected. But when you know your child is wrong and you try to cover it or you bypass it because you know this is yours, definitely there's going to be a punishment for you. There's also going to be a punishment for the child because uh, there's an adage that says, Yes, a child that is always be pampered. There is a suffering coming for that child at the end. So that child must surely get his punishment. Yes. I'm talking about parents today. Parents that lead their children to do. We are going to be doing comparison. You know the way we do it before. We take some verses from the Bible to see how it was instructed. Today we are mainly going to be taking our verses from the book of Proverbs. Because that's the only place. And that's the place that really emphasize and deal with with that of parents so without wasting much of your time let's dive in for instance let's being a parent doesn't mean only marriage or married ones maybe for instance mother-in-law for the father-in-law yeah we're also going to be saying that that of the father-in-laws and mother-in-laws but first of all as a parent whether your child is grown up to married or not as a parent, you are supposed to, the Bible says, train up a child the way he should grow. When he grow up, he will not do what? Depart from it. Some parents will say, the child is too small. The child is still small. Don't worry. When the child is big, I'm going to... No, don't worry. No. Parents, train your children. Train your children. As we are saying, so, 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 so many parents, they leave their children to do. When you know your child did something, and you know the kind of child that you have, but you just want to, because they would, you don't want people to say, I know your child is not this, your child is not that. You know, I also said it in my a video before this one, when I talk about men that are bad on children. You see some children, because you are the rich man, because you have, because you have mates, husbands, cousins, people that stay with you, whatever you may call them, your child will steal. But because you think your child have it all. No, it's those maids. It's those ones. No, my child cannot do anything like that. Meanwhile, you didn't school your child. You didn't ask your child. You didn't make sure you monitor your child. Some can lie to you. You didn't make sure you monitor your child. Make sure you know what he's spending, what he's doing, how he get the money for everything. You just put it in another man's child head. You can, that can even lead to the, the, to the person's dismission or whatever, or sending them back to their parents. Meanwhile, it's your child that did it, which is very wrong. And if we go into the aspect of marriage, that is even worst. If we go into the aspect of marriage, that is very, very worst. But not most of you will say, hey, women with their mother-in-law. Mm -mm -mm. It's not all women. If you see some women with their mother-in-law, you will never believe that this is... Not their real child. You will never believe. Some women, some mother-in-law, they just hate you naturally without nothing. Maybe they think you are too pompous, you are too proud, you are arrogant, or you are something. They just, 
They just want the one that will come, wash their clothes, wash their plates, do everything until they tell you to go before you go, until they tell you to stand before you stand, until they tell you to sit before you sit. We are not in a slavery world. Your child cannot do it to another person. So don't use another person's child just because you want to come and marry your husband, your, your son, or you want to test a character. Are you God? Where is it stated in tradition or constitution or anywhere that you must test someone's character before you marry? Her attitude is enough for you. The day she can do for you, she do. The day she cannot do, it's not a yastic. That is not a ticket of you being in a husband's house. Some will try to say, okay, let me help to wash plate or cook or do it not become their job. She didn't come to my house to wash clothes. She didn't come to my house to cook. She didn't come to my house to clean. She didn't come to my house to do this. Mm -mm. Who is testing your son? Olden days is the other way around. But now you people are changing. That is why you say the world is changing. The world is changing because you are the ones changing the world. In the olden days, when a man wants to get married to a woman, it's the man that is serving the woman's uh, 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 parents. He will go to farm, he will fetch water, he will fetch a wood, he will do everything. But these days, you people have turned it upside down. It is not the women that need to serve their mother-in-law, they need to serve their husband's parents before they will not marry you. When you yourself have changed everything, then you will not come out and say, young guests of nowadays, they don't want to be in their husband's house. They don't want to stay in their house. How many times have you told your son to go and visit your in-laws and when you get there, please try to wash his car or clean. Say, eh, my son will get money. My son will be this. You know what I'm saying? Your son too will marry rich man Peking and you want to make all the cook for you say because you'll be mother-in-law or you'll be father-in-law. You must clean house or you must wash clothes. Where is it based? Where is it? How? Son will come for Europe. You say, man, who my way come for Europe? Make all the pan pan the for you. I don't say most of them are going to come for me. Yes. Person will not be pampered in before. Person will not come up for us for 5, 10, 15 years. You are certain to make corner dinner called the pampered in I want to take pampered in How? You want to take fit? If you are picking, most of them are one of daughters they come from Europe. They don't ever wash their own pint where they wear. You no, know, they talk of say they want even wash plates for them now be their mama. You no, know, they talk of say you go cut them and enter kitchen go cook. You no, know, they talk of say you want pampered in then when you see another person picking, another time you go not say they not train you way. Another time you go not say ah uh, whether you come for Europe or you not come for Europe or husband or man or husband or my husband or husband and your own picking when you born no go feed one for you. So maybe would they try to balance the equation? More will not just see another person picking. They say before before there is an adage that say is your more eh take away na gbo ya son na i wa je na gbe wa gbe wa is your more he was son. It means. Normally, in the old days, when they say thief, or thief, you say, please don't kill the thief, or is it another woman's child, or please, 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 pardon the, the thief. But nowadays, when they say thief, you say, shoot him, kill him, do this. You don't even know if it's your child. You don't even know. And I hope most of you watched that, that video that went viral, that that little boy trying to scam a 60-something years old, old woman because she saw the woman's phone and the nakedness was on it, or the same card, I don't know. And they was what they were watching it. She, him, and the mother were were watching it. And the mother, the mother begin to sue. The mother begin to sue. The mother begin to sue. Ah, this child, they did not train this child well. This child is a this. This child is a this. I want to do this to you. The, the son was not saying, ah, mom is okay now. It's okay. Not knowing that it was his son that was sitting close to him that is doing it. You see the reason why most of us will lead our children to doom. If those swears that he has sweared now happen to work in the life of his son now, how is he going to re how is she going to reverse it? Because you thought it's another man's child and you begin to lay cause. You begin to lay cause. You begin to lay cause. But unknowingly, that is your own child that was sitting close to you that did it. And you begin to lay cause. You begin to lay cause. So also are so many people. If you see these days now, if you see some mother-in-laws, they don't just like you because their son have money or because their son is where to do. Or even if you are where to do, they'll say, eh, why, why sh will she go and take her ass get? Is she too big to clean the house? Is she too do this to do that? Meanwhile, it's not your son that is paying. It's not you that is paying. Even if it's, uh, your son is paying, everybody has their own choice. Eh, if her father is rich, you should go and look for a rich man, all those things. If it were to be your daughter, can you say that? You see some women now when their their daughter uh, husband beat their daughter home, ah, uh, she will get clothes and say, ah, uh, where they build your house? Why will you beat my daughter? Ben, when your son's your son's wife cried to you, say, be patient. You know these men of nowadays, but you cannot tell that to your daughter. 
You cannot tell that to your daughter. Rather, you'll be laying costs on the man and insulting the man's parents. Then when your son's wife comes, will you insult yourself or your husband or your son? But eventually, no. You see, we are leading our children to doom. You see, a mother, a mother will be telling another, we will be telling again, if you are, if you have children before, if you don't born before, I don't know why they're speaking. If you don't born before, my picking not go marry you, lie, lie, my picking not go marry my way off your bone. I call us for my wife, they say, ah. Madam, no vessel. This one, your picking not go marry with your bone, your picking not go marry with your bone. If your daughter does her bone, so man, not go marry her. Eh, you picking not go carry belly. Eh, now you be God. God want to do a way now. He picking with your bone for another place. Now, man, can't still marry her. We, we do things as if we are not in this world. As if we traveled, as if people still die, people are still heartless and wicked like this. What about if there was no death? I wonder what the world would have become. I wonder. A mother, a mother, you know your son is married. Your son is married. And your son will bring in another woman. Or maybe paraventure your wife, your son's wife came to you and said, Your son is flirting or your son is doing this. So, eh, stop narrating my son. No. Eh, 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 palace is full, that is what, eh, Everybody wants. Like, seriously? But when your daughter comes to you and say, ah, I'm, my, my husband is dating another woman, another woman, who, eh, the man is not afraid, you just pack your load and come, but when your son's wife pack, you say, they, she, she was not well trained. The woman did not, they did not recommend her. She's not well trained, no. She's not. I knew it. You're just looking for fault. Fault. And most of you mother-in-laws or parents, as it may be, not only mother-in-laws, parents. This thing is, 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 is has been annoying me. Let me say it. You have made children. You have female children. Your made children will get married just because it's your son's wife. You don't want anything to do with her. You don't want anything to do with the children. If you go to the market, you want to buy something, you buy for your female children that got married to another man, that is bearing another man's name, that the children are not even for you. Your daughter don't even have rights over those children. You pamper them, you dress them, say, go and look at her. It's me that will put my money. You don't know it's yourself you are bringing down because those children that you are neglecting, that woman that you are neglecting, those are the ones that will raise your names tomorrow. Those are the one that is your legacy. Those are your true children. That is your blood. Not the one that your daughter gave birth to another man. Those ones are just attachments to you. But because you don't love your son's wife, if you because of your enemy and go and blind you, I say, I don't want to see this person again. Which I will use to see your friend. Because... You don't just like the woman at all. You not say, no, your money will not enter, especially when your when your son have no money. You don't want to put. But when your son have money, you will be the one to be controlling. But when your son don't have money that they are managing, you say, oh, mona, go to manage. You follow your husband, manage. Follow your wife. But when the son, when your son have money, you will not say to follow your son to enjoy. Then you will not come and say, it's me that gave birth to my son. No, it's me that trained my son. No, it's me that know my son. No, do you say my son should not give me food? Do you because he's married, he cannot take care of his parents again? Then when that your son is lacking, did you tie your clothes and come and say, no, my son, this is five hundred that I have. Take, let me hold this fifteen naira. But it is only when your your sons are doing well. And you now know that your son's wife are a gold digger. When your sons have no money, your son's wife are not gold digger. They are the best woman in the earth because they are suffering with your son. And you, you don't have anything to contribute. When they even come to your house, you say, I don't have anything. No. But when your daughter comes from my husband's house, you want everybody to know that you are a best mother. You think you are doing your son's or your son's wife. You are only doing yourself. Yourself. It's only yourself that you are doing. You think maltreating your son's wife or your, your son's children, that is your grandchildren, that is even your blood, that is even the ones that will raise your legacy. 
You see some women now, whether their son is in Europe or their daughter is, their son's wife is in Europe or their son's wife is in Nigeria. Maybe their son is in Europe. They will want to squeeze that woman. They want to squeeze the meek out of that woman. All in the name of, before you can get married to my son, before my son will carry you, before that boy, will, they will even allow their son to carry that woman. My God. And you have daughters. And you want your daughter, your daughter's husband to just come and carry their, their wife. You don't know that the Bible says what you do to others is what others will do to you. Nemesis will catch up on all of you. Nemesis. You see a mother-in-law. Your, your, your son's wife will give birth. You cannot buy one rapper. Then when your daughter gives birth, no, oh, to be a shame to my daughter. It is a shame to her mother-in-law, not you. When my elder brother wife gave birth, my younger sister gave birth two weeks before. When my younger sister gave birth, my mother came and bought some things for the baby. My mother, the mother-in-law came and bought one uh, Hollandese and one uh, Nigeria for her. When my brother's wife gave birth, I'm not saying it because it's my mother. We were all quarreling with her. My mother bought three Hollandese and two Nigeria. Say, this is my first grandchild that a woman is giving birth to me. These rappers use it to be back in my grandchild. We say, ah, mama, this your own is too much. Bro. When we me give birth, you did buy. They don't want to get birth, you did buy. I say, you push go and meet your mother-in-law. This one is my own. Those are your own. They are for another person. Ah, ah. We were angry, but later we now reason and say, ah, mama. This thing you said is true. You say, yes. He said, because this one is my own. That one is for another person. It's just attachment. You people have mother-in-law. You people have husbands. Tell them to buy for you. This one is my own wife. This one is my own. It's my son's wife. This one is my grandchildren. These ones will be our name. Those ones that you are carrying, they are for another person. Not that I will not do better they, to, to some limit. Because anything I do for those ones, they will use it to praise your husband and your husband's family. So anything I do for these ones, it is me and my husband and my son that they will praise. Ah, ah. We look at her and say, ah, ah. Say, yes, that's the truth. Which is the truth? Which is the truth? You see some women. Go and look at my daughter. My daughter is doing well. Whereas you are the one taking money and go and be giving your daughter. But your son's wife, you call, you say, you don't have all. Uh, you people, we don't have all because you think that when your son is having money, hey, chair lady, they won't even invite you before you go. But when your son don't have any money, have you people watched this? Uh, this is a drama. This is a couple, what a couple of the year or something like that. When the mother in law, because the boy has no money and he's the eldest, he will go to the younger brother because that one have money. He will go to the other one because that one have money. He will from there, I call there, come and take what I bring for you. You know your house is too small. You cannot pamper me. I cannot stay there. He will call the senior one to come and have meeting the junior one's house. Mothers are leading your children to do. It's not only uh, uh, mother-in-laws that are doing this now. Even normal parents, you are still leading. You love one child more than one. You attend to one more than one. You are doing something for one more than one. You are leading the children because you never know the destiny of that child. You might only be the parents, but you cannot know the destiny. You see a mother telling the children that one of my child will be better than the rest of you. <laughs> I hope you guys can remember what happened to Joseph in the Bible. Because that of Joseph was that it was God that revealed to him. That is why he survived it. The father so loved him and make it coat of many colors for him he survived it because it was god because the, the, the father loved him because he was born out of the woman he loved he misquote everything he miss everything parents stop leading your children to do if you see many men then maybe 10 12 11 15 years ago you see so many dead in italy then all these guys that are doing central your mother will know that you have wife in Nigeria, you are camping another girl in Europe. Your mother is greeting your mother, sending money, sending her land this and say, Ah, my picking wife for oh. when a woman is with you, suffering herself, cleaning your house, washing, doing everything, and your, your son is introducing another woman to you, and you know you have a wife, and you are saying it doesn't matter because this one is bringing money for you. <laughs> Keep it up, be leading your children to doom. You see how many boys was what. In Italy, accident, he sleep, he not wake, he do this, he not do this, he go to Nigeria, he not come back. So many then. Oh, wipe. Not be mama bonde. 
Na mama bonde na. Na mama na bonde. Because why? You don't lead your children in the right direction. You will not tell them the truth. You don't want to tell them. And if I tell them, I'm not going to bring money for me. Some parents that have children in Europe, they cannot tell their children the truth. And if I tell them, I'm not going to bring money for me. If I tell them, maybe if you don't bring money for me. Like, seriously? If you don't bring money for you, you prefer to eat your child money and bury the child. You see your picky, they chop. Your picky go carry get call, call you. Yeah, yeah, you go answer. Your picky go carry another one call, you go answer. All of them are wife. This one go bring money, you go collect. This one go bring cloth, you go collect. This one go bring something, you go collect. At the end, your picky no matter all of them. <laughs> now, what are you they gather for your picking? Swear, juju. Because you know you cannot quarrel with your son and say, come, 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 come. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. When my, my immediate elder brother was dating a girl and he went to the girl, he, she, him and the girl went to Nigeria. See, this is the girl I want to be. The girl came and we told the girl. I told her, my elder sister told her, my mother told her, all of us, in fact, literally all of us told her, say, can you be able to stand my brother? Are you sure? He said, no. The rest of them, they don't understand my brother, this, that, that. Finally, when they had quarrel, she could not say anything to anybody. Even when they were trying to drag her, they say, did we not tell you? You say you can handle him. So, she didn't say a word because we told her. We told her. I'm not saying we are sent, but it's better your hands are clean. Your hands are clean. Let's look for that of the mother-in-law so that it's not like if I'm talking and talking and talking. Let's go to Genesis 24. 24 verse 67. He said, Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah, to his mother Sarah's tent, and he took Rebekah, and she became his wife. And he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Sarah took Rebecca like her own. Isaac took Rebecca to, to Sarah. And Sarah took Rebecca and comforted her and loved her. Did you hear that place again? Can we read it again? He said, Then Isaac brought her into the, his mother Sarah's tent. And he took Rebekah and she became his wife. And he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after the death of his mother. You want a wife that will become your mother. When you cannot love your wife like your mother. If I see some men and you say, I don't use my mother to play. You are a liar. You are a joker. Because if a man doesn't play with his mother, he will, the love he has for his mother, he will also have it for his son, for, for his wife. Because they are both women. I used to pray every day. I say, oh God. The love that this my son has for me, I pray he should have it for his wife. For oh, mommy, I love you. Mommy, I love you. I say, if you are telling a woman you love her every day like this, there will be no quarrel now. That is my prayer. Not for me to be praying that no woman will come and destroy this our love. Oh. Why not? He's be, he will be taken by another woman. Me, I've done my own. He has to do his own. I cannot use my life to live my son's life. Or attach my life to my son's life. I've lived my own. He has to live his life. Hey, your wife doesn't give you a chance. Your wife doesn't... Yes, they say two shall come together and become one. I know most of you say, hey, when you get to that stage, you will know. There is nothing. Because I know already that my son will get married one day. And he's going to leave me. And he's going to leave. Even before he gets married, he's going to leave me. He's going. So if you have that in the back of your mind, you will know that you will pray for your son to have a woman that will love him. And he should also love his wife. Because if a man truly loves his wife, the home will be balanced. It is when a man is misbehaving that the woman is considering, should I, should I not? If all men would just stick to their wife and behave well, all this divorce, 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 separation, do you think it will happen? If you tell most people, you say, eh, my children don't live their life on my own. Who told you that? When the children did not grow up well in a, in a better environment, you are not only living your life. He said, you will give account of everything you do. You must surely give account of it. If you don't do well, you will give account. If you do well, you will also give account of what you do to your children. Let's go to Proverbs 17, Proverbs 17, verse 25. It says, A foolish son is a grief to his father, 
and bitterness to her who born him. A foolish son is a grief to the father. And bitterness to her who born him. Instead of you to train your child, instead of you to talk to your child, it will bring bitterness. Your child, oh, he beat the woman today, the woman faint. He do this one today, the woman. My son, I will tell you, if you hit your sister, you will be punished for it. Because that is how it starts. It's a little child, it's a little child. No, don't hit a woman. If, you, if that child knows, and most of you men, you will be beating your wife in the presence of your sons and your daughters. What are you teaching the boy? And tomorrow when the boy comes to you, you say, where did you get this character from? Uh-uh. They became blind. You know the sea road? Like father, like son. He blind. It's not a snake that like gives birth to a snake. And snake gives birth to a lion. It is not possible, lizard. When you beating your wife in presence of your son, in presence of your children, that is what they are learning. Tomorrow they become a punchy bar. Anthony Joshua. Let's look at Proverb 11, Proverb 3 verse. Okay, let's look at Proverb 27 verse 11. 27, 11. Let's look at that one first. Verse 11, say, My son, be wise and make my heart glad. Eh? My son, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him who reproach me. Be, be wise and make my heart glad so that I will answer him who come to reproach me. No. Many of you, you are not even ashamed of what your children are doing. Brother, you are, there is a woman. Your son has married and has gone to her house. His house, sorry. And before he left your house, he was having a room and the room is still vacant there. You see, allow your son. He has a wife and children at home. He will carry get to that your house and sleep there. Say, I, I went to my mother. The day was it was too dark. That is why I slept over. No knowing your son slept with another woman and you see it and you are condoning him and you are condoning him. Then tomorrow when Nemesis fall, you will not be catching winch. You will not say, is this person no? Is the woman you put at home or is because you people always catch women winch? Is the women that are winch or not you? The women in your son's life they are always winch. When your son sleep, it did not wake. Is the wife? Your son got accident. Is you will not check what your sons has used their hand to do. There was a woman. Is in a family house. The son was married with wife and children. They were in the house. The boy always go and sleep outside, sleep outside, sleep outside with different friend women. Ah, the mother just called the son one day. Say please, oh. Let me give you one room here yeah, so that you just be bringing the woman. And your, your son's wife is in that house. You gave your son another room. Separate from... They are all in the same house or not... Like uh, local jail. In the same house. Not in different streets or, a different, or in different houses. The same house. You have to prepare a room for your son and say, I don't want you to be sleeping outside. Just bring the woman in so that you'll be sleeping so that I will know you are at home. <laughs> and you expect that that child to you expect it to go well with your, your your child clap for yourself better mama you expect make it go well with your child your picking wife they sir has you give your son another room make it the carry side chick they come if now your daughter you will give your daughter husband another room let's be true to ourselves oh, because tomorrow now we now call the cash winch when we wait on use on hand, do not the worry on tomorrow. On our call the cash room, they has. If now your daughter, husband, now they do that, you will tell us a come carry room. Instead of you to go outside. Because the Peking, not, not be you born, I not go side you. But they not go feed one to your Peking. What you know, they cannot do to you. Don't do it to another person. So many of you mothers, you are leading your children to doom. Your son with the wife will be quarreling. Instead of you to, ah, your son report to you, the woman is a bad dad, the woman is this, I know the woman is not fit for marriage, this, that, Or your daughter will report to you, yeah, the man is a bad dad, he's looking for another woman. Instead of you to call the both party and try to make peace, no, you will just take your own. The woman will take his son. The mother will take his daughter. Instead of you to call both party, ah, this is what I heard, why? Try to settle and try to make peace. Even if the peace did not come, let them know you tried. No. Does it concern me? I was not there. Then when your son start getting the repercussion, you'll not be looking for winch. Looking for winch when not near you. Let's read one more verses. Let's read in Proverbs 3. 
Proverbs 3, verse 11. Three verses eleven say, "My son, do not despise the chastising of the Lord, nor hate his correction. For whom the Lord love, he corrects, just as a father the son in whom he delights." A father is supposed to correct his son. A mother is supposed to correct the son. Proverb one verse six. Let's look at it. He said, the, "To understand a proverb and and." To understand a proverb and engagement, the word of the wise and their rules. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Ru but fool despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. Hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. When you gave your son wrong law, Wrong law or wrong rules. That is what is going to follow. When you gave your daughter wrong rules, wrong law, that is what is going to follow. So do not chastise. Many of us parents, I'm not excluded. I am included. You see, your, your, you know your, your son can do this thing. You say, not be my picking, not be my picking. And at the end, they not find out it's your son. Is that not a shame? You see, if you bring yourself down, we exalt you. Instead of you to say, ah, I'm sorry, I don't know if it's my son, no. Then it's better than not tell you, ah, it's not your son, no. Then you'll be exalted. Then, no, my, my, my child cannot do it. Like, when you know, vividly, as a mother, that your, your child can do this thing. Then because you are asked, I don't want them to look down on your son. You say, it's not my son. Are you helping the child or you are destroying the child? You are destroying the child because you know tomorrow the mother is going to cover up for him. So he will do worse. But if the child knows that, ah, my mother will disgrace me, say, it's better I just hide myself. Disgrace you. Thank you guys. I said my video don't want, I don't want my video to be more long than 30 minutes. I'm sorry for taking one or two minutes of your time. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Sunday once again. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you in my next video. Bye.